Welcome. This video reviews how to administer the CTP online. For information on CTP4 administration, please consult instructional materials available in Help and Resources. To begin, we'll address Creating Sessions. To initiate a new test session, click the Test Delivery tab. Sessions should be created immediately before the assessment and will expire at the end of the day. Type a session name in the text box. The session name should be meaningful to the assessment administrator. We recommend a combination of level, subject name, and date. For example, Level 8, Reading Comprehension, January 5th. Select the appropriate subject from the drop-down menu. Be careful to choose the correct subject, as this selection dictates which assessment you will open for your students. Click Create Session when you're done. The next screen will show you a unique test session number. Write this on the board for your students. They will use this number to log into the test through a secure browser. Before students begin the assessment, confirm your school has enough assessment packages in inventory with your purchasing coordinator. Click Approve to allow individual students to begin the assessment process or select Approve All Waiting. Once approved, students will appear in the Approved Students box on the lower half of the screen, where you can monitor each student's progress in the test. For larger groups, the filter options All, In Progress, Completed, and Not Started can be used to quickly identify students in need of assistance. In the Secure Browser, students must first enter the test session number from your Administration Portal. Click Submit to continue. Then, students can log in one of two ways, with their first name, last name, birth month, and birthday, or with their student ID and last name. On the next screen, students are asked to verify their login information and then select Continue. If the information is incorrect, students should notify the proctor. Remind students to use their names as they appear in the portal. Proctors can check how a student's name appears in the portal by going to the Students tab. When a student finishes their test or reaches the time limit, the status will change to Completed on the Proctor's screen. Finally, let's close the test administration. Before closing an administration, make sure all students have completed testing, including makeups. Also, if you have multiple schools under the same ERB member number, Confirm that all schools have finished testing. Then, the purchasing coordinator for your school should log in, go to the test administration, and click Close Test Administration. This will complete any open tests, submit all tests for scoring, and produce the school's final results. For more information on how to use the CTP portal, please refer to the Help and Resources section online or contact CTP Operations directly with any questions. We hope this brief overview helps to make your CTP online administration experience smooth and rewarding.